So we're going to be learning about three methods in solving system of equations. And so we're going to start with the first one, which is graphing. All right, so we have a system of equations, 2x plus y equals negative 5, and negative x plus 3y equals 6. And we, and we want to solve this by graphing. And basically what this means is uh, when we graph these two lines, uh, when, it, when it wants us to solve, it means where, what, what is the, the x value? And what is the y value where they're going to intersect or connect that will make both of these true? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and graph this using our tool that we always use in here, uh, Desmos. All right, so we'll graph the first one, 2x plus y equals negative 5. Okay, and our, our second one is negative x uh, plus 3y equals 6. So that means, where do these two intersect? They're nicely right there at negative 3, 1. So if we go back over here, so it's saying at negative 3, 1. Let's make sure that, yeah. So, so that means if we plug in negative 3 here for x, and you plug in 1 in here for y, negative th 2, or 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. Bing! And plug in negative 3 here. Negative times negative 3 is 3, plus 3 times 1 is 3, so that, that, that's 6. Bing! And uh, so that means that ne negative 3, 1 satisfies both equations. And we can see that now graphically, that it it is true for both because that's where they intersect. And that right there is how you solve this by graphing. And just to kind of note also, we have three different cases, right? When we graph two lines, they can um, intersect at one point, right? But you also have these two other cases where you can have where they they never um, like intersect, right? Where they're they're parallel, and you also have the case where if this is one of our lines, the the, the other line can be the exact same one right on top of it. So this one would have uh, one solution. This one would have uh, no solutions. And this one will have um, infinite solutions. Okay, so right now, we're just dealing right now with the one solution. At the end of this section, we'll get to the no solutions or infinite solutions. But at least, you know, graphically, you can always use Desmos to solve this. And you can visually see if they do intersect, if they're parallel, or if they're the exact same equation and they're just stacked on top of one another. Okay, great.